Good afternoon. Thank you for coming to my channel, Evolve. Today, I'm going to unbox the Lightseer's Tarot by Chrisanne. It's one of my favorites. I love it. I use it constantly. Um, and most people that I know that have purchased this deck feel the same about it. It's just wonderful. Um, it's very smooth. The cards, the box, they all feel about the same texture, matte smooth the deck or excuse me the box is um, thick and sturdy and inside here it says and into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars and there in a sunlit hollow we lose and find what is ours dear light and shadow seer may this deck help you to find what is yours chrisanne and right at the top is the deck, or excuse me, I keep wanting to say the deck, I'm ready to get to the deck, is the book. Um, the guidebook inside they show you how to use the cards. They introduce you to the major arcana and minor arcana. <clears throat> Um, they show you the difference between upright and reversal, how to read those, how to connect with your cards. So they're very helpful if you're new at this. Give you different options for spreads. And then it just gets into the descriptions. And here are the cards. I think there are, there's 78 of these cards. They're pretty thick card stock. I don't like to shuffle mine. I guess you could say the traditional way you would shuffle cards. It's also, these are larger. <laughs> My hands aren't quite that big. Um, but this is a larger deck and they're just longer cards. So it's difficult for me, but I will try. Yeah, these just don't. <laughs> we have a couple deck and a half. For some of you with larger hands, this might work. Okay, but let's see here. Do that one more time for you. Well, if I can do it well, they are very smooth. There we go. I got it. I generally like to shuffle my cards this way. So it keeps them nice and um, stiff, not bent. I don't like for my cards to be bent. I like them to look pretty for as long as possible. Um, so let's get into the artwork and the cards. Queen of Cups. this tower these cards are very easy to handle very smooth they don't stick
This is one of my favorites. Beautiful cards. Oops, excuse me. I like that it has death and rebirth here. That's how I think of the card. It's a rebirth. Just beautiful cards. So vibrant. I love this. I'm a sucker for rainbows. I love color.
Okay, so now I'll just randomly grab a card here to read for you guys. Let's see, and we have the Hierophant. Okay. And it is numbered. So there's a number five here. Okay, so as a light seer, tradition, a lesson, spiritual leader or guide, enlightenment, awakening, and service of spirit, formal education or training, new paradigms. Shadow seer, outdated systems or ways of thinking, dogma, rebelling against social norms, abuse of power, stagnation, ego-based leadership, a need to connect with spirit. As you search for your divine truth, you create frameworks of belief that help you to expand your consciousness and ground your faith into this reality. If you've been stuck in an old tradition or a structured way of acting or being that is no longer serving you, it is time to let it fall away in order to make space for a better version of you. The Hierophant serves as a gateway between divine source and the seeker, so be open to new paradigms, perspectives, and teachers in your life. Look to the patterns around you and strive to understand your own internal compass. Know that while there is wisdom in your teachings of the mystics, the voice of your own heart is the one voice that matters the most. Find the wisdom of the heavens within. I am my own guru, and the guidance I need is rooted in my faith, my belief, and my unique essence. Okay, I'll choose one more. Why not? No, the Queen of Pentacles. I like her. I want to feel the way she does. <laughs> okay, so the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Light Seer. A healer, a working parent, a self-made person, material wealth and abundance, strength in family and community, a kind and nurturing heart, groundedness, being down to earth, generosity. As a shadow seer, financial stress, or I should help you in reverse. If you pull this card in reverse as a shadow seer, it would represent financial stress, being self-absorbed, smothering others, helicopter parenting, overindulgence, work home imbalances and materialism. This self-made queen reminds you to step into abundance by shifting any shadows you're holding on to around wealth and security. You are safe. Pay attention to your finances to level up your money game and give yourself permission to rise into the upper ranks. This is a positive message of creature comforts and happiness. And this earthly medicine ushers in a life well lived in the material world. Connect with nature to find your calm, healing, and rooted power, and harness the abundance that's available to you by bringing groundedness to your situation. Shower others with warm blessings from a charitable heart, as loyalty, family, and community are themes at this time. Your nurturing and down-to-earth approach will gift stability and support to those in your life. Don't overextend your energy and avoid enabling others by overmothering them. They must learn to walk on their own. Bring your self-worth and guidance and your glorious, powerful love. I enjoy my deeply connected life and I lead it with an outpouring of warmth, abundance, and love. If you have any questions or any tarot or oracle decks that you would like for me to purchase and unbox for you, let me know. I love buying new ones. Um, and I do have many more. So I'll be posting more videos on more decks um, very soon for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And who knows what I'll post on here. Something fun and interesting. Bye-bye.